Today is Save the Koala Day, a time to raise awareness about protecting the vulnerable mammal. Scientists believe there are less than 100,000 left in the wild and by 2050 they could be wiped out altogether in eastern Australia. Joining me live is Chair of the Australian Koala Foundation, uh, Deborah Tabart. Uh, Deborah, thanks so much for joining us today. Koala populations, they did take a sizeable hit through the Black Summer bushfires. Have I got that number right? 100,000 left. Um, is there any sign of recovery in the last couple of years since the bushfires or is it still going the wrong way? The uh, federal government put the koala on the endangered list to... Um, to, you know, to numbers going down. But in some respects, a lot of the places which did burn were already empty of koalas. So we sort of, you know, it wasn't as bad from uh, that point of view. But what I've been asking the minister to do now is to really put a moratorium on logging or clearing of any major critical habitats because that's where the koalas breed and we just absolutely have to protect those landscapes. The Koala Manifesto you've authored has the Ten Commandments on what needs to happen to save <laughs> the koala. Uh, and you did mention that moratorium on logging native forests. The New South Wales government has been locking away some national park areas known to be koala habitats. But that's the biggest problem, isn't it? It's that we're bulldozing their habitat. Well, you think about it. If your house goes gets knocked down, you haven't got anywhere to live, you haven't got food, you haven't got um, your family, you, you, you end up homeless, you get sick, you then need to, to go into hospital and then you get put back into the same war zone. So I think what we've got to do is do things differently. And I feel that when everyone asks me what needs to be done is don't cut the trees down. And instead of having an unsustainable logging industry, say, on the east coast of Australia. We need those forests to be protected for tourism down the track. So what I really want is healthy forests filled with koalas and then a Save the Koala shop or a, or a tourist outlet where people can go in. So at the moment, we've got people visiting hospitals to see them. And those hospitals will eventually be empty of patients if we don't stop cutting the trees down. It is that simple. And... I've never actually written to a minister, and Tanya's my 15th environment minister. I have never written asking for a moratorium. We are a scientific organisation. We have maps, but I am encouraging her. You have got to protect the major habitats of Australia. You just have to.